In this video, I want to talk about the root test for series. Root test is one of the powerful tests that we can use to determine the convergence or divergence of series. Suppose we have a series in the form of sigma n from 1 to infinity of a sub n. And suppose limit of nth root of absolute of the general term a sub n as n approaches infinity to be r. So we let r to be equal to this limit. Limit of nth root of absolute of a sub n as n approaches infinity. Now, if r is less than 1, then the series is convergent. If r is greater than 1, the series is divergent. And when r is 1, this test for the convergence or divergence of the series is inconclusive. Which means that, which means that it doesn't work to find out the series is convergent or divergent. So this test is useful if the r, the value of the limit, is less than 1 or greater than 1. And if the limit equals 1, this test is inconclusive. Usually, we use the root test to determine the convergence or divergence of the series whose general term, a sub n, is in the form of something to the power of n, like 2 to the power of n, 10 to the power of n. Now let's do an example with this test. Consider this series, sigma n from 1 to the infinity, 2 to the power of n, over e to the power of n. We want to use the root test to determine the convergence or divergence of this series. First, let me name a sub n to be 2 to the power of n over e to the power of n. And note that because in the nth root we have to put absolute of a sub n, absolute of 2 to the n over e to the n is again 2 to the n over e to the n. Because 2 to the n and e to the n are positive terms and absolute of them is equal to them. Now for using the root test, we have to find limit n approaches infinity of nth root of a sub n. And a sub n is 2 to the n over e to the power of n. Note that you can write 2 to the power of n over e to the power of n as 2 over e all to the power of n. And now the power cancels with the nth root and we get to 2 over e. So this limit equals to 2 over e because 2 over e is less than 1. Remember that e is approximately 2.7 and so 2 over 2.7 is less than 1. Because the limit is less than 1, based on the root test, the series is convergent. When the value of the limit is less than 1, the series is convergent. So this given series here is a convergence series. Let's do another example. Sigma n from 0 to the infinity 
negative 1 to the power of n times by 2 to the power of 3n over 3 to the power of 2n. As you can see, in the general term of this series, every expression is in the form of something to the n, negative 1 to the n, 2 to the 3n, 3 to the 2n. All the powers are in terms of n. So it's a good idea to use the root test for this series. First, let's name a sub n to be negative 1 to the n times 2 to the 3 n over 3 to the 2 n. Note that absolute of a sub n is 2 to the 3 n over 3 to the 2 n. Negative 1 to the n disappears. When we put absolute around a sub n, negative 1 to the n cancels. Note that absolute makes negative positive. And so when we put absolute around this expression, the role of negative 1 to the n is only a plus or minus. Based on the value of n, negative 1 to the n is always 1 or negative 1. An absolute makes this negative 1 positive 1. So when we put absolute around a sub n, negative 1 to the n cancels. Now if we use the root test, we have to find limit n approaches infinity of nth root of absolute of a sub n, which is limit n approaches infinity of nth root of 2 to the 3 n over 3 to the 2 n. For finding this limit, you can use two different methods. One method is to write this as limit n approaches infinity of nth root of 8 to the n over 9 to the n. Note that 2 to the power of 3n is actually 2 to the 3 all to the n. And 2 to the 3 is 8. So we can write 2 to the power of 3n as 8 to the n. And similarly, 3 to the 2n is actually 3 to the 2 all to the n, which can be written as 9 to the n. Now this limit equals to 8 over 9. The powers cancel with the nth root and the limit equals 8 over 9. Because 8 over 9 is less than 1, it means that this given series is convergence. Another way that you can find this limit is to write it in the form of limit n approaches infinity of nth root of 2 to the 3 n over nth root of 3 to the 2 n. In numerator, the power n and nth root cancels and 2 to the 3 remains. And in denominator, again, power n and nth root cancels and 3 to the 2 remains. 2 to the 3 is 8 and 3 to the 2 is 9 the same answer and again this shows that the given series is convergence by the root test now look at this series sigma n from 1 to infinity n factorial to the power of n over n to the power of 4 n We want to use root test to find out this series is convergence or divergence. If we name a sub n to be n factorial to the power of n over n to the 4n, absolute of this a sub n 
is again n factorial to the n all over n to the 4n because the expression here is positive so absolute of that is equal to itself we have to find limit n approaches infinity of nth root of absolute of a sub n which is limit n approaches infinity of nth root of n factorial all to the n over n to the 4 n we can simplify this and write it as n approaches infinity n factorial in top and n to the 4 in denominator we pull out each expression from the nth root and we simplify the powers with the nth root now for finding this limit remember the definition of factorial n factorial is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 n minus 4 times 2 times 1 all over n to the 4 and n to the 4 is n times n times n times n we can rewrite this fraction here in this form n over n this n over this n times by n minus 1 over n times by n minus 2 over n times n minus 3 over n but in numerator these terms remain note that as n approaches infinity limit of each of these four fractions is one n over one, n is one limit of n minus one over n is also one limit of n minus two over n as n approaches infinity is also one and as n approaches infinity limit of n minus 3 over n is 1 but when n approaches infinity n minus 4 goes to infinity gets larger and larger so limit of the first four fractions is 1 limit of n minus 4 is infinity and we have many other terms in this expression which limit of all of them is greater than 1 so this limit equals infinity because this limit is greater than one based on the root test the given series here is divergent let's do another example sigma n from 2 to infinity 2n plus 7 over 3n plus 5 all to the power of n we want to use the root test to determine the convergence or divergence of this series by looking at the general term of this series it is obvious that using the root test to determine the convergence or divergence is a good idea because the term because the general term is in the form of something some expression to the power of n and when we use the root test this power n cancels with that nth root in the root test let's name a sub n to be 2n plus 7 over 3n plus 5 to the power of n absolute of this a sub n is 
the same expression because it is positive so nothing changes for using the root test we have to find limit n approaches infinity of nth root of absolute of a sub n nth root of 2n plus 7 over 3n plus 5 all to the power of n if we cancel the power here with the nth root we get to this limit limit n approaches infinity 2n plus 7 over 3n plus 5 it is obvious that this limit equals 2 over 3. Remember that when n approaches infinity and we have limits in the fraction form, we can keep the dominant terms, only the dominant terms, from the top and the bottom. In the top, between 2n and 7, the dominant term is 2n. So we keep 2n and we ignore 7. In denominator, we keep 3n and we ignore 5 because n goes to infinity 2n in numerator over 3n is 2 over 3 so this limit equals 2 over 3 2 over 3 is less than 1 and so the given series is convergence let me show you another way that why this limit is 2 over 3. For finding limits like this, we have to divide numerator and denominator by highest degree of denominator. Highest degree of n in denominator is 1. We have 3n to the power of 1. So we have to divide every term in top and every term in bottom to n to the 1 so we have 2n over n plus 7 over n all over 3n over n plus 5 over n 2n over n is 2 and when n approaches infinity 7 over n 7 over infinity is 0 in denominator 3n over n is 3 5 over n is 0 and so the limit is 2 over 3 and because the limit is less than 1, the given series is convergent. I hope by watching this video, you have learned how and when to use the root test to determine the convergence or divergence of series. If you liked this video, please subscribe in my channel and see you in the next videos.